So hi, my name is Tom Janicott. I'm the sports officer at the University of Bath. Um, I, firstly, I need to apologise for the pathetic Movember attempt. Um, I, I've seen a lot of people with a lot more convincing moustaches than mine, uh, but I am trying, so bear with me for this one. <laughs> so this first month of sport has been quite amazing, really. We've had some pretty amazing results. Um, the one, the one result that really, um, really stood out from the from the lot was uh, the Bucks cycling event, um, Bucks hill climb. The cycling team went out there. Uh, the men's won team gold and an individual bronze, which was an amazing achievement. And the women's also got a uh, team fourth place, just missed on the podium, and an individual seventh place. So overall, all of the athletes that went there won Bucks points, which was truly amazing. Um, We've also had some great results in the leagues. Um, our rugby women's team is still undefeated at the moment. They're 4-0, doing really well. They were team of the week this week. Uh, we've also had great results from rugby, beating Exeter, our rugby union men's first, <coughs> uh, which was a great, great surprise on our part. Um, we really surprised Exeter on that one. Another big one would be the netball first team. They beat last week the Bucks champions from the year before. Um, so they beat them by convincing 15 points, uh, which is quite an achievement again. Another one we will have is um, a club that stands out every single year, is the Badminton Club. They've been doing really, really well. They've got loads of wins already. I mean, it's, I rarely, rarely see a, a, an L next to, their, next to their club, which is quite amazing. Um, and next month, so in November, we're looking forward to uh, the swimming events, so the Bucks short course and long course, uh, which will be really, really interesting. Um, we're hoping to win quite a few bucks points there. I know all the swimmers have been working really, really hard for it. The, the one thing that we've been planning quite a lot recently is snowball. So we've got uh, the pavilion booked for the 4th and 5th of December. It will be the biggest event of the year, biggest social event. Um, there will be about 1,500 people going overall, which will be absolutely huge. I know everyone's been working quite hard towards that. Um, we've also had some great news facility-wise. Uh, we've just heard the news that there will be a new floor in Founders Hall for next year, which is absolutely amazing for all the clubs that train there. It will be a floor that looks like the floor in the STV, but it will just be a lot harder, so all the sports that go there at the moment will be able to continue their activity there. Uh, so that's a great improvement. We've also had some great news on a 3G training area. Uh, which will hopefully be ready for the next academic year, um, which is, again, an amazing improvement to the facilities we've got. Month, we're also selecting our top volunteers for the year. So we've had a round of applications, uh, just over 150 applicants for our volunteer recognition scheme. And I went through them the other day and we have some truly amazing volunteers. Five of them will be going to the Bucks Leadership um, Academy, organised by Deloitte. Um, the, these will be our top five volunteers of the year and they will be going there on a fully subsidized trip which is greatly amazing um, and we're looking forward to you know selecting our gold silver and bronze volunteers for the year and giving them rewards for what they've been doing all season long and what they will be doing for the rest of the year they're the ones that are leading our sports clubs and leading our teams to all those amazing results really I want to wish everyone good luck for the second half of the first semester. We've had some amazing results in the first half and I really wish, uh, really wish good luck to all of our teams. Um, just hope that they continue on this good winning streak.